Hi, I'm Arthur Parsons. I'm game director at TT Games. Xenophilius is trying to mask the fact that Luna's been taken by the Death Eaters. And then I can use these sticky sneakers to walk up the wall. There's invisible Lego, but with the Spectre specs, you can see it. We thought we'd have a giant ride on comedy hair. The idea is that we matched the Peveril section of the Deathly Hallows Part 1, which was a stunning kind of different art style. So you've got death there again, just flying past. The best way to get rid of death is clearly to throw uh, Lego pumpkins at him. So we're going to go upstairs now to the top of the house, which is where Luna's bedroom is, and see if we can find her there. We cut back to obviously our characters where they were left off, having a bit of a jibe at, at Ron as we always do, and uh, yeah, Xenophilius sort of. We're trying to portray him as the bad guy, with without the Harry Ron Hermione knowing. So now it's like, well, where's Luna? You, yeah, we know about the the, the, the the three brothers story now. Where is Luna? It's like, ah, hmm, yeah. Let's uh, distract people. A bit of a crazy dance, which I can't do myself. Um, and he's gone. Now the gameplay here, I'm going to whiz through really quickly, but it's great because there's uh, here's one of our new mechanics, which is Defindo. So anytime you see red Lego, you can zap the wall and you'll see a shape, and then using the spell, you can cut round it, and it looks a bit like that, uh, the thing in Doctor Who. Um, when you cut round it like that, the Lego falls out, and whatever shape you've cut, you make. So in this instance, we're actually gonna make a Ken Dodd-esque tickle stick, I guess is the best way of putting it. It's not actually a Lego feather duster, because um, uh, what better thing to use to get away, uh, get, get rid of spider webs? So we'll do that, and I know that I'm looking for potion ingredients because, again, potions is a, is a, a, a cool, integral part of, of the game. Uh, you can make living death potions, love potions, uh, obviously polyjuice and super strength and visibility. So uh, I need Hermione, so I'm going to be in free play, quickly toggle through. So Hermione's got rune access, so uh, I'm going to have to concentrate now. So uh, top right, bottom left, uh, top left, bottom right, there we go. Uh, and then this is going to bring me out some blank paper because um, in the film, in the fiction, there's a, a, a quibbler printing press in the Lovegood's house. So again, we've included that so you can magic in some paper and uh, away it goes through the printing press. So we've got Spectre Specs, so I can reach into a quibbler dispenser and get these cool Spectre Specs like we saw outside and again, um, I can interact with Invisible Lego, so I'm going to just bust that off with Reducto, which I'd have learned in a lesson earlier on in Hogwarts. And again, you can use the, the specs to see the Invisible Lego. It's just a really nice way of adding an extra layer. So we'll make that. I know I need a snake's tooth for the, the potion. So fortunately, there's a snake. Grab that, pop that in the pot, uh, and then I can make a super strength potion. So press my B button to drink. And then using that, I can run over here to rip off this orange handle. So we always call things out. You know, it's, we need to really make sure that everything's crystal clear. Now I need a small pet to fit through the maze. So let's see who's got, who I know's got a really cool pet. Um, in fact, now I'm just going to use, I'll use Pigwidgeon. So, and it's such a cute little character. Again, the character guys did a really good job of, of kind of bringing these things to life. So I'm just going to climb through the pet maze, pop to the end, um, and then if I just quickly build this, which I know is a, is a handle, and then we'll pop upstairs to finish the level off, because it's quite funny. Um, something we wanted to do was, again, we always like to have a bit of fun um, with stuff, so yeah, the darker side of Harry Potter in in the last few films, we've really needed to make sure we really sort of play up the fun side of things because it's it's quite important. So we're looking for Luna Lovegood. So you've got a Luna dummy there. Uh, is she in the bed? And it's just like, no, that's another Luna dummy. So um, if we pop around through here, it's like, but we have found a handle. So if we just pop that into this chest. And basically Xenophilus is going to pop out. However, 
it's Xenophilius dressed as Luna Lovegood because we thought that'd be really funny. So he's got lipstick on, uh, Luna's hair. Kind of quite sinister, really. Um, 